Hi scientists, it's Miss Courtney here. Guess what season it is? It's spring! Yay! I love the spring. In the springtime, the weather is usually getting warmer, the sun is out, things are growing, there's lots of flowers, and everything looks so green and new. I just love it so much. The weather is actually kind of interesting in the springtime because some days it's really warm and the sun is shining and you get to wear your t-shirts and other days it's rainy or it's really windy. That's just how the spring is. But eventually it will become warm all the time and we'll all get to enjoy wearing our sandals and our t-shirts when we go outside. In the springtime there's also lots of birds out. Let's see if we can hear any. They're kind of quiet right now. They were making a lot of noise earlier. When we go on our walk, I'll see if we can hear any and we'll stop and listen. The one bird in particular that I want you to look for when you go on your walk at your house is the robin. Robins are out a lot in the spring. They have brown or gray backs, they have yellow beaks, and they have red bellies. And the robins hop around on the grass because they're looking for their favorite food, which is worms. So they peck in the ground to try to get those worms. So let's, we're gonna go look for some robins, okay? Oh. Did you hear the birds? Also, one thing that I'd like to look for when I go on walks in the spring are nests. These are the birds' shelter. Remember, all animals need food, water, shelter, and space. You do it with me this time. Food, water, shelter, and space. And this is the bird's shelter. All animals need shelter, and the birds right now, they're building their shelter in the springtime. So when you go outside and look up into the trees and see if you can find any nests, now, we are scientists, so we are going to use our science tools when we go outside. We are going to use our eagle eyes, our deer ears, our fox noses, and our caterpillar fingers. And if you happen to make some fun binoculars out of toilet paper rolls, bring those along too. All right, let's go. Okay, we didn't go very far on our nature walk yet. I just walked down my stairs and I stopped because I found some beautiful yellow flowers that I wanted to show you. Let's take a look. Can you see them right here? These are just in my garden. Let's count how many petals are on this yellow flower. One, two, three, four, five. Five petals. And the leaves are really soft when I touch them. They feel really nice. Remember, when we're out in nature, we touch everything very gently because we don't want to hurt it and we don't want to get hurt. Make sure you use your gentle finger touches. All right, let's see what else we can find. Let's go. We're just going to stop right here in my neighbor's yard. It's not very far away because I found some other pretty yellow flowers. These are called dandelions. And some people don't like dandelions in their garden or in their yard because they think they're a nuisance. But the dandelions are actually really important. They provide nectar for the bees and the butterflies and the other insects that are out. So they're important and we need them. And I think they're really pretty too. There's also these leaves that have three parts to them. One, two, three. And each part is a circle. Can you see that? These are clovers. Clovers are really low to the ground, so you're going to have to get close to try to find them. I like them a lot. Okay, I'm in the same yard, and I just wanted to show you a couple of flowers that are in the garden. If you look closely, there's some pretty purple flowers, and there's some pink flowers up there. Those are azaleas. 
are so pretty right now. All right, we're going to get ready to cross the street because I wanted to show you some buds across the street. Now, when you cross the street, you need to make sure that you have an adult with you and you always look both ways for cars. I'm going to look left, right, left again. All right, no cars. Let's go. to show you this tree here. Now in the winter time there were no leaves on it. It was bare. Remember we talked about that, the way that the trees lose their leaves in the fall, but in, in the springtime they grow their leaves back. And I wanted to show you how this tree is growing its leaves back. Right here is a little bump that's called a bud. And from the buds the leaves and the flowers grow. So you can see right here that the leaves are growing and they're really soft and they're very tender right now and they're very small. But each one of these, there's one, two, three, four right here and each one of those is going to get the same size as your hand. It's so amazing to me that out of these small buds, huge leaves and flowers grow. Now the last thing I want to talk to you about before I let you go on your own nature walk is that sometimes you can just come outside just to get some fresh air and to lay down and enjoy the weather. That's one of my favorite things to do outside. When I'm inside all day, I get a little grumpy and sometimes I can start getting frustrated or sad, sometimes a little bit mad. And when I come outside, it makes me feel all better. Just being able to take a deep breath and listen to the birds and enjoy the sunshine. So I hope you all take the opportunity to go outside too. And happy nature walking. Bye scientists.